today i will talk about breadth first search traversal algorithm and what is breadth first search then how you visit each and every vertex in the graph by using dbfs and also i will tell you what are the application of bfs where the bfs is exactly used then what is bfs then bfs is a traversing algorithm where you should start a traversing from a selected node or selected vertex which is also called as the starting node then we can take all the adjacent nodes to that starting node then after that similar approach we can take all for other adjacent nodes which are the adjacent to the starting node and so on then what you understand from these statements you can visit any vertex as a starting vertex then you can visit all other adjacent to the vertex of starting vertex then same procedure to be continue until you can visit all the vertices vertices in the graph then you can see the third statement over here then we need to maintain the status of visited node in one array so that node or no node can traverse it again okay once you visited any vertex in the graph you can store it in the array then we can easily understand then that is already visited no need to visit again okay each and every vertex is visited in the graph exactly only once then here the last point is very important the bfs uses q for traversing all the nodes of the graph then how do you implement the bfs algorithm we can use the q data structure for implementing the bfs then what is the procedure to implement a bfs we will see then what is the first point is that which is also called as the algorithm which is also called as the procedure to insert a starting node into the queue okay whenever you select one vertex as a starting vertex or starting node then you can insert into the queue then what is the second point is here then deleting delete front element from the queue and insert all its unvisited or adjacent vertices which is also called as the neighboring vertices into the queue at the end at the end means it is a rare set the queue is consist of two variable one is called as the front another one is called as the rear then traverse them then repeat step 2 until the queue is empty we can visit each and every vertex in the graph adjacent vertex then same procedure to be continued until the queue becomes empty this is the procedure as per the procedure i will explain you with the help of the example consider the below graph then how you visit all the vertices using the bfs we will see here then here i selected starting vertex is a then you can visit all the adjacent vertices then how you visit all the vertices uh, adjacent vertices we will see then first the what is the adjacent vertex s of a then a adjacent vertex r b c d because here which vertex has been selected here it is selected as a starting vertex then from which we can visit all other adjacent vertices there are b c d okay i am telling you in order b c d is the adjacent vertices then which vertex will be visited then we will see then after that what are the adjacent vertices of b then d and e then as for that then what are the adjacent vertices of d then e is the adjacent vertex of e d sorry then what are the adjacent vertices of e because b d already in the queue that's why no other adjacent vertices of e how you visit each and every vertex in this graph by using the bfs then we will see in the next slide onwards see here then initially what i did over here then i selected a vertex as a starting vertex keep it in your mind then what is the first step then you can insert a into the queue initially the front or rear elements are minus 1 whenever you insert the element a into the queue then front value become 0 then rear value become 0 the a is element a can also be called as the front element which is also called as the rear element okay the first we selected the vertex a then which has been inserted into the queue then what is the next one the next step we can 
insert all the adjacent elements of A. Then what are the adjacent elements of A? Then B, C, D. Okay. This is one of the adjacent element. The C is the one of the adjacent element. The D is the adjacent element. Then here, second step you can see over here. The remove the front element A from the queue. And front is also be incremented by 1. And display it. Okay. Here I can water the nodes I visited. I write it over here. You can see bottom of this line. Then traverse a node. Once A has been visited already. Then what are the adjacent nodes of A which has been inserted into the queue? B, C, D which are the adjacent vertices. Then rare is also be incremented by 1. Then here the B, whenever the B has been inserted the rare value becomes 1. Then C, whenever C value inserted the rare value becomes 2. Now D is also one of the adjacent vertex which has been inserted. Then what is the rare value? Then rare value becomes 3. Here you can see here the print value becomes 1 because A has been removed, then which has incremented by 1, then 3 A, uh, rare value becomes 3. Got my point? Then you check what are the adjacent elements of B? What are the next element in the Q? B. The B is the next element. Then what are the adjacent elements of B? Then we can insert into the Q. Then here, then D is the one of the adjacent element which has already in the Q. No need to insert again. There is another adjacent elements of B, then E, then we should insert E into the Q, C here. Then B, remove element B from the Q. Then front, is, front element, as a print variable is incremented by 1. Then what are the other adjacent vertices? Then only one E is the adjacent vertex which has been inserted into the Q. That's why the rare front value is incremented by 1. The front value becomes 2. The rare value is also incremented by 1. The real value becomes 4. Then what are the elements in the Q? Then C, D. Then another element is called E. Then what are the visited nodes till now? There are A and B, which, which nodes has been visited already. The next, then what are the adjacent elements of C? Then there is A and D, which is already, A is already visited, the D is already in the queue. Okay, there is no other vertex of C. Then C is removed from the queue. Then C here, once C has been removed from the queue, then what is happening? The rear value remains same. There is no other vertex has been inserted into the queue. Then print value becomes 3. Here, what are the visited nodes? A and B and C. These nodes are visited already. Then, then C here, any other vertexes, vertexes of other adjacent vertex of D. Then C, B, E, B, C, which is already visited. R else, which is already in the queue. D and Q, sorry, is already in the queue. That's why there is no other vertex to be visit. Then simply we can remove D from the queue. Then see here, the D has been removed from the queue. Then how, then that's how, then you can check what are the adjacent vertices of E. There is no other adjacent vertex B, D, which nodes already visited. There is no other vertex to be visit. Then you can see how this procedure is repeated the, until the print greater than rare then you can stop the procedure then what is the next slide next step sorry so there is no other vertex has to be visited then the front element has been removed from the queue then front element becomes 5 the rail element becomes 4 then we can stop the procedure why? Because the friend greater than rare. That's why there is no other vertex to be visited. We stop the procedure. Then here, what are the sequence of nodes has been visited by using the BFS in this graph? Then A is visited first. Then B is visited next. Then C has been visited. Then D has been visited. Then E is also be visited. Then E, which is also be generates a spanning tree of the graph. Then here, then what are the A? Is the starting vertex what are the nodes has to be visited then b node has been visited then d node has been visited then c node has been visited then after a which node has to be visited then d to e then here are r else then here you can visit like this r else this is also one of the spanning tree b to e 
Okay, this is another sanitary, spanning tree has to be generated from this graph using the BFS. Then what are the nodes? Sequence of nodes has to be visited by using the BFS. Then I explained with the help of the example. Then see here, what are the applications of BFS? Where the BFS is exactly used. Then what is the first application is, then use it to find the neighboring location from the source location. Okay, whenever you want to find what are the other nearby locations, if you want to find the BFS will be very useful. The BFS used to determine the shortest path. Okay, the minimum spanning tree, okay, which can also generate the minimum spanning tree by using the BFS just now we have seen in the example. Then what is the third application? The P2P networks, like uh, some of the applications of the P2P network, BitTorrent, which we, the bit first search will be used to find all the neighboring nodes. Okay, the BitTorrent and MuTorrent, okay, which are some of the applications of the BFS. Then crawlers build index using the birth first traversal. Then it, it, this why we use here, this idea is to start from the source phase and follow all the links from the source and keep going same. Okay, what are the other uh, child pages of the main page uh, that will also be uh, mentioned by using the BFS. Okay, if you have any doubt regarding this BFS, please ask me at any time through the comment box. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos.